to interview women and the occasional token man about how their passion and purpose have collided to create healthy relationships and profitable businesses. I am Elizabeth Denham here with Rebecca Monet, and we are the co-founders of The Coterie for Women. Um, Rebecca, how are you? Yes. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> I am great. I'm actually in Missouri. Uh, what you see behind me is my granddaughter's kitchen. So I'm enjoying my time with my grandchildren. Wonderful. How well, you, I'm, I'm good. Decent day, <laughs> middle of the week, hump day. Yay! <laughs> Trucking, trucking along. <laughs> trucking along, trucking along. Okay, so, so go first. Tell go me first. about your thorn. Yeah, go tell me about your thorn and your rose. Okay, my thorn is, so I got a nose ring a year ago. What? Because <laughs> I was having a bad time and I just needed something different. And so I went with my son who wanted to get his ears pierced. And my husband was kind of like, don't go with him and encourage that. But I did um, because I had wanted to do it. And I don't think anybody really thought I would, but I did. So I've had it for a year. And the other day I looked in the mirror and it was gone. And I was like, what happened to it? And I don't know if you know how these work, but it's, it's like an L-shaped post, like earring post. Uh -huh. And you just fold it in and the little L shape keeps it in. And it kind of lays flat oh, on the inside. So there's no nose. twisty thing in there. Typically not. But okay. I, I, you don't, I don't have anywhere to buy another one. So I went online on Amazon and they're like, you can get 10 for 10 bucks or something of all different little colors or whatever. <laughs> but it's not coming until Saturday. And I was like, well, I don't want the whole, I don't want to have to close up or do whatever. I mean, I don't know how quickly that would happen. So I found a little tiny earring, which is in there. Just a little, you know. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> but it's an earring with a straight post. And so in there, I put the back on it so that it wouldn't fall out. So when I sleep, <laughs> it kind of pushes. So like it's sore because I have this big old earring back in that side of my nose. So that's my thorn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd be afraid it would come loose and I would, and it would go. Oh, my I didn't even head. think of that. Well, you need to. <laughs> I guess I do. I think it's on there pretty tight. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, but I just have this little sore spot where the back is pushing on my nose. Like when you I got a bruise on the inside of your nose. Probably. So nobody can kiss it because it's not I know. accessible. Exactly. So Saturday oh, I should have some little replacements. <laughs> oh, the life's challenges. This is massive. I don't know how it's... you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Theoretically, I could just take it out and be done with it, but I no. wasn't quite ready to be done with it. I kind of like it. I think I like it because people don't expect it of me. <laughs> that's right. It is kind of a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my thorn. My rose is, is a pretty simple one. I got up this morning to do my walk and it was 56 degrees. I don't know if you don't live in the lower Gulf Coast, if you could appreciate just how exciting that is. <laughs> that is exciting. I like cold weather, so... Um, that sounds like heaven to me. Yeah. Well, and after the hurricane, there is not a cloud in the sky. The high is going to be in the mid seventies all week. The lows are in the fifties. So we're having this pleasant, breezy, low humidity. Look how straight my hair is. Wow. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> Show off. Well, it's only because the humidity is so low. Normally it's just, <laughs> so, you know, that's big excitement in my life these days. I love it. Well, that's a great, great roses and thorns. That's probably one of my favorites. <laughs> well, tell me about yours. So um, my thorn is, do you know how hard it is to keep a secret? Mm -hmm. It's, for, especially for me, you know, I, I just want to, and, and when it's, you know, something you just desperately want to tell people about. Is it a good, it's a good secret? I'm not sure I can even say that. Oh, I'm just okay. meaning I'm, I'm we'll just I'm be being, neutral. I have to be neutral, which is like almost impossible. So there's this big secret that I now know and I can't tell anybody. And I'm like, you know, ants on a hot, hot, you know, pavement. I'm just like, I want to tell somebody, I just want to tell somebody so bad. And I can't. Yeah. Uh, and, and it makes you aware of, you know, here I am an adult and I'm having a hard time keeping a secret. Uh, I remember as a kid, you know, having difficulty keeping a secret, you know? Oh yeah. Uh, it's just, it's you know, a big oh, thing. 
Well, I don't and know what my you're son, for Christmas or yeah, whatever. Yeah. My son, Luke, was never allowed to know a Christmas secret or anything because he would tell. He could, and my mom is the worst. She wants to know all the secrets. So she would try to get things out of him, like especially if it was for her. She is so bad that she was sick as a dog one night with like 102 fever and she had gotten up out of bed. We were young and got into the Christmas tree and there was a little box for her from my dad. And so laying on the floor, sick as a dog, she opens it up very carefully pulls it out, looks in, closes it, wraps it back up and goes back to bed. I was like, that is pathetic. <laughs> Some the fact that can't handle she secrets. just can't. Yeah. So I feel your pain. That's horrible. Well, and I, I want to ask you what it is. Cause I know it'll be tempting. No, I can't tell you because then it's public. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's so interesting. I really think that feeling of, um, you know, can't keep a secret comes from curiosity. Like, mm -hmm. oh, Oh, I got to know. I got to know. And I want everybody else to know too, because I just discovered something and I want you to know it too. But anyway, I'll let you know what the secret is when I've been given permission to shout it from the rooftops. But in the meantime, top secret. Gotcha. Wow. And my thorn. Yes. And my thorn. As I mentioned, I am in Missouri visiting my, my children and my uh, grandchildren. And uh, it's been a while since I've been here because of COVID. So I got to go to my eight-year-old's um, uh, Ebony's soccer game. Oh, so this is the night. Rose. This is this the is Rose. The I'm rose. sorry. Yes, the yes. Rose. Okay, just making and, sure that was not a thorn. Yes, this is not a thorn. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a Rose. Not only did I get to see her play, but they won. Yay. Now this, this is a pretty big deal at eight years old when they're still mm -hmm. kind of you know, figuring out what the rules are. Has she but played before? She played last year. She's okay. very competitive. She is a <laughs> athlete all the way. I mean, she's like low to the ground and competitive and figures things out. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a big deal for her. That's so much that, fun. I miss those days. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So uh, Roses and Thorns, some of my favorite time together to kind of rehash the week. Yes. The eyes of positive and negatives. <laughs> exactly. Well, good job. That was fun. And tell your granddaughter congrats from, you know, the Coterie ladies. Um, and we will wrap this one up for this week and we will see you next time on Roses and Thorns.